What is up, DJ Nation? I'm your host, DJ Rick Webb. Let's get right into the news. Let's get into our first story, and that is Mobile Beat Las Vegas merging with Photo Booth Expo in 2021. Photo Booth Expo posted a article on their website talking about the merger that is going to be happening. As of 2021, Mobile Beat Las Vegas will be merging and be the exact same conference as Photo Booth Expo in 2021. This is going to create a ginormous conference, and I'm actually very curious because here coming up in February 2021, if you don't already know, we're going to have the DJ NTV convention happening alongside Photo Booth Expo. Side plug, I will personally be at the DJ NTV convention in February of 2020 coming up speaking on millennial marketing. If you guys want more details on that convention, link is in the description down below. But that convention is going to be headed by John Young. Now, John Young, the head of DJ NTV, was very excited on Facebook for this merger. So I obviously wanted to reach out to John to get a statement on this whole entire merger and what his thoughts were, as well as see if maybe he's going to be heading up the 2021 show possibly. Now he told me he could not speak on his involvement with the 2021 show at this time, but he did give me this statement right here. And he stated that this is a logical next step for the mobile DJ industry. Trade shows have changed over the years and single industry events just don't work like they used to. Rob is the head of Photo Booth Expo. Rob and his team will be creating a multi-industry mobile entertainment convention experience like none other. And he also goes on to talk about how he is very excited about the show. This is going to be a huge leap forward for the show to continue it year after year. And I couldn't agree more. This is a very good move for Mobile Beat and Photo Booth Expo to jump together. Um, they were two big conventions and now they're just going to be even bigger together. So I'm excited to see the future of what is going to happen with the show in 2021. Our next story is a little bit of a tragic one. A Halloween party was taking place in the Bay Area of California when a shooting occurred resulting in five people dying. Among those five people was in fact the DJ, 24 year old Omar Taylor got caught in the crossfire and ended up losing his life. This was a very big impact to the Bay Area DJ community and I found out about the story through fellow uh, Instagram followers that sent me the story. Any one of the other DJs in the Bay, California area could have been the DJ at this party and it's a very tragic situation overall. Now, in a positive to this tragic story, a GoFundMe has been started for Omar's family to help pay for some of the expenses that are going to be inquired with his passing. Very tragic situation. Um, I will link the GoFundMe as well as the news article in the description down below. I've already gone ahead and put in a donation for this. If you guys feel so inclined to donate as well, feel free to do so. The link is in the description down below. Now, in equipment news, a lot has happened. First off, Denon has now announced and has put out the software update to support Serato on the Prime 4. The Denon Prime 4 is now Serato compatible. I'm gonna link a whole video from Denon in the description down below that details and walks you guys through the whole entire update and what all it does. But I said this back in a previous video back at Expo. This is a huge step forward for the Prime 4 to allow Serato users, which is a vast majority of the DJs out there, to basically transition from using the laptop with the Prime 4 and then eventually transition over to using just the internal touch screen of the Prime 4. So I'm super excited to see this update as well as this just brings up a lot of interesting facts that the Prime 4 is going to get software updates as the life of the Prime 4 exists and it's Wi-Fi compatible. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Denon does with the ability to basically upgrade the software consistently. In other news, the EV ELX line is now going to be in white. If you guys did not see the announcement, the EV ELXs are going to be in white. And if they haven't hit the shelves already, they're going to be hitting them very, very soon. In fact, I was just over at Bun HQ, Joe Bun's headquarters over in Raleigh, not too far from me. And we were checking out some of the first ever in-person all-white ELX speakers. And I got video clips for you guys of that unboxing. Roll it. Woo! Woo Glacier Pure White EV ELX 200. What? what? Look at that. Clean. That is clean. Ooh wee. 
super sexy and clean the ev white series i actually was very drawn to them they look they look nice in other speaker related news jbl is coming out with a battery powered speaker that is set to rival the bose s1 people online have been ranting and raving about the bose s1 speaker and jbl has decided to get their foot in the door in this speaker category as well announcing the brand new jbl eon one compact unlike the bose s1 the jbl is going to be featuring a 8 inch subwoofer that is a big upgrade from the Bose S1 as well as a highest in class rated 112 dB and one of the biggest things they're pushing is that it's going to have a 12 hour let me get that right 12 hour battery life and that battery is going to be removable so that you can quickly remove it and put a new battery into it now, obviously you guys know i have a lot of jbl products and this was no exception i did go ahead and pre-order one of these speakers when it was first announced it's going to be in the same sort of pricing category as the bose s1 right around 550 dollars which is significantly less than the ld systems maui 5 go that you guys see me use a lot so you can look out for a full unboxing and review of this speaker when it comes in here in early november now our last story involves some drama in the facebook dj community but that's all for today's stories guys and like always when i get the scoop i'm gonna keep you in the loop dj rick webb now at 0 0.2 subscribers What's up, guys? I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of spoof of Drama Alert. If you guys don't know what Drama Alert is, just search it on YouTube. It's a popular sort of like drama news station that reports on news, drama, things that are happening in the world. But a lot of DJ news breaks daily as well as drama that happens on Facebook all the freaking time. And I figured I'd make some sort of video out of it. So maybe this will be something regularly. Maybe it won't be. Maybe this is just me having fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to slap a like. Leave a comment down below if you got any comments on any of the articles and news that I reported on. As well as there are links in the description and the first comment down below to all of the stories that I talked about. And all of the products that I talked about. And all of the other stuff that you guys can check out. So, like always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, guys, keep the market spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.